Gentlemen, welcome to the weekend preview. Great to have you on board, as always. Let's get the elephant in the room out of the way first. Malcolm, let's start with you. Uh, let's hear your, your your reflections from the game last night in Coventry. Great disappointment, I'm sure. Yeah, very disappointed. Uh, important game, and uh, we didn't have a lot of guys uh, uh, put their best foot forward. Um, I thought maybe six guys we got the best out of. Um, the remainder of the group, uh, you know, let the team down. And, and that's just being transparent and, and honest. Uh, you know, I think the stats will show uh, anytime you can have guys being even and uh, other guys being minus three, four, and five. Uh, to me, it's not acceptable at any time of year, let alone crunch time. And Mitch, you were on the ice throughout the game. A terrible night to, to play in, I'm sure, as well. What do, you, what do you make of what happened last night in Coventry? Yeah, I mean, it's just simply, it's unacceptable. Um, I think we've been struggling with consistency all along throughout the year. Um, a lot of times we show up for the bigger games, but not the games that, you know, are, we have the teams right, you know, in the back mirror where we can get a step on and we got to put those games away and those games we just struggle with. And I think it all comes down to a consistency factor and we just got to all buy in every game throughout the remainder of the season. And that's the frustrating thing. You know, I watched the game last night as well. Back to you, Mitch. You guys have been playing well recently. That The form has been there. You've been scoring the goals and then it just seemed to dry up last night. Yeah, like like I said, it, it doesn't help when you, you know, you get down 2-0 um, real quick. You know, first five, ten minutes within a game, it's hard to, you know, come back from. But, you know, you still got 55 minutes left to play, 50 minutes, and, you know, anything can happen. And, you know, instead of sitting in the back seat and, you know, poor me, I think a lot of it is, you know, stems from players that just we all need to be better as a group and work together. And I know our chances will come, but it's just about how we, you know, finish on those chances like, you know, you look last night at Coventry, like every chance they got, they finished. And, you know, the chances that we would get, you know, we just couldn't. So, Malcolm, preparation starts now with the, the, the double header against Dundee on Saturday. I take it you've been working feverishly to, to get this out of the guy's system and, and to move forward. Well, just, you know, just to reiterate kind of what Mitch said, like our in terms of buy in, like we're, we're not. Yeah, we've had a good stretch where we did score some goals over a few games, but that's not our bread and butter as a hockey team. Our bread and butter as a hockey team is stingy defense, and that's what's won us games uh, against the big teams. If you look at it, we end up beating Belfast three to one. We give up one goal. We win six to three against Sheffield. We give up three goals. Uh, you know, we beat Cardiff. Uh, we we keep the goals against down. Any of the games that we've we've really been our best of all given games where we've given up three goals or less. That's our bread and butter as a team. And then we take our chances when we get them, and we try and capitalize. And we take pride in our special teams. And while our power play has remained very very hot, our penalty kill has gone in the tank over the last two three weeks. Uh, uh, does it coincide with Dyson Stevenson's injury? For sure. Part of it does because he was a 95% kill guy. Uh, you know, that means he kills 95% of the penalties that he's out for. And he usually kills off a minute to a minute and 20 of the two minutes. So, um, yeah, we for sure miss him. But it's a chance for other guys to step up. And we just haven't been getting that. We went from number three, four PK team in the league to number nine. And when you're when you're giving up one, two, three power play goals in a game, it puts a ton of pressure on you to have to score. And we're not that type of team. You know, we're we're one of the lower scoring teams in the league. We don't score three goals per game on average this year. So getting back, when, when you talk about consistency, uh, that all comes with the mental approach and the buy-in that you have of what your hockey team is and what makes it tick and what makes it successful. So that takes us into the weekend with Dundee, a team that are on form at the moment. In many ways, the ideal game for the guys to bounce back, Malcolm? Well, uh, you know, like we said, uh, we, we break our season down into six-game segments. And we have nine six-game segments. We're just coming off a six-game segment where we went five and one. 
<laughs> so, but you know, that was just the other day. We go down into Cardiff. Uh, you know, it's it should have been a one-one game going into overtime. We played extremely well down there. Very, very good. Couldn't be more happy with how our team played. So, you know, this is is this a one-game mystery? I sure hope so. And I, I I have no doubt that we'll bounce back. But again, it's getting our head wrapped around and re-wrapped around what we are as a group. And Mitch, as I mentioned, Dundee, the double header weekend, it's all to play for, isn't it? Every point is is very precious at this moment in time. A great chance for you guys to turn it around. Yeah, we know that playoffs are obviously a few games, you know, less than twenty games away. And I think at this point we just gotta take it one game by a time or one game at a time. And um, you know, I think we just gotta have a short memory, obviously forget about what happened uh on Wednesday and you know, obviously Dundee is right next to us in the standings. And like I said, this is a huge weekend to put them, you know, behind us. And I think we even have a few more games after this to play Dundee, maybe one where, you know, I've, a lot of these teams too that we, we play the rest of the year, they're all crucial games. So, I mean, this weekend's can put us on a huge high and, you know, hopefully keep us bouncing down this road that, you know, we need to be on and, go from there. You've played against Dundee, Mitch. Where are the key strengths you feel and what they have as a team? I think, I think they're a hard physical team. Um, they forecheck hard and, you know, they, they're gritty, a blue-collar team to play against. Um, you know, but I think, obviously, if we have a strong power play, um, like we have been um, capitalizing on those chances and having a strong PK, uh, you know, can be the difference in a game. And Malcolm, as a coach as well, it's been a, a tough old week, but it's a new start, a new beginning, a new set of games, basically. Yeah, I mean, every game is is different. You know, it doesn't matter whether it's game one and two or game 35, 36, 37. Every game is different. It takes on its own story. You know, right now for us, uh, you know, we're coming off a bit of a beating. Uh, you know, are we are, are we going to be uh, able to dust ourselves off and, and saddle up and go at it again? Uh, you know, and, and a game like this can make you certainly and should make you certainly more determined come the next game. Um, you know, we've shown that when we've had these episodes in the past, we have come back strong. Uh, Dundee, you know, similar type of team than us. I mean, they they don't score a ton of goals. They have a good power play. Um, you know, they're, they're opportunistic. Uh, they have some speed, they have some size, uh, play, play a similar style and similar system to us. It's going to come down to, you know, how bad do you need to win? And there's a big difference between wanting to win and needing to win. When you want something, sometimes you'll take shortcuts. If you need it, it's in every core and fiber of your body. It's like survival. You'll do extraordinary things to get what you need. And, uh, you know, it's, in my opinion, the, the team that needs that game the most is going to be the one that comes home with two points. Malcolm, Mitch, thank you so much for your time. Good to have you on board and best of luck for the weekend. Appreciate thank it. You. Thank you. Thanks.